Let's talk about Scrum and Kanban. Too often we hear the same debate. Should you use Scrum or should you use Kanban? It's posited as if they're equivalent alternatives, but they aren't. They're independent decisions. Should I use Scrum? Yes or no. And should I use Kanban? Yes or no. It's fine to do one, both or neither, depending on your circumstances. Scrum is a framework to help a team deliver and sustain a product in a complex environment. By framework, we mean a bit like a skeleton. A skeleton on its own isn't much use. You need this, all of the skeleton and a load of wobbly bits to go onto that skeleton to make a functioning animal. Scrum just defines the framework and occasionally points out where the wobbly bits need to go. Once you add your wobbly bits to the Scrum framework, you've made your own method for delivery. Kanban, on the other hand, is an improvement method. It's a way to improve the way you already deliver. Scrum tells you how to go about delivery and tells you that you should improve. Kanban assumes you're already delivering and helps show you how and where to improve. Treating them as alternatives is a bit like asking, should we eat vegetables or should we wear clothes? The answer is simple. Wear clothes or eat vegetables as you see fit, but don't assume that just because you wear clothes, you don't need to eat vegetables. And please don't assume that if you eat vegetables, you don't need to wear clothes. Scrum and Kanban both have their place either together or apart, but they are never alternatives. If you want to learn more, come on one of my Scrum or Kanban classes, or even my Scrum and Kanban classes. I look forward to seeing you there.